Hey guys, Joshua Peterson with Peterson Electric. I want to do another video for you here this week to show you a great idea how to know if your heated floor system in your bathroom is working. It's going to be a cable tile system, a cable system under the tile. So we have an infrared heater here by Fluke. That's about the only meters that I use. Uh, they're more pricey. Uh, we also use some Extend as well, but um, these are really good meters. Uh, so anyways, I bought this few years back for breakers, but if you can see that, you can see how the tile is kind of heated up where it's cool to the left, and then all of a sudden you see a line, and then all of a sudden you see it hot there, okay? That shows you that that heated floor system is working and how it's working. Um, if you had a cut in it, your GFCI would trip. If you didn't have a GFCI thermostat, it wouldn't trip. Um, these, I think, are about 8 watts a foot is my guess, or 12, I can't remember. It's been a while since I've wired one. Um, it could be more, but you can look that up. Easy Heat is one of the brands you can use. Uh, this is a thermostat right here. Also, they make them by Sun, as well as another brand. Uh, but this has a built-in GFCI protection, and i um, not sure if that's at the bottom. But anyways, this thermostat will tell you what temperature it's on and how long it takes to warm up. Usually you can set it at certain times to turn on during the day. So this is a 120 volt system. They do come as a 240 volt as well. So if you do double your voltage, you're half the ampacity to get it done. Uh, but when they ran it up, they ran it for the jetted tub as well. I think you saw in that other video with that car flex versus the wire mold. That's what this was for. It was coming on the outside of the house, stubbing in to the attic and coming down and it did the heated floor and the jetted tub. Jet tubs typically don't run that much, usually about three amps for the jet, maybe two amps for the bubbles. When you do the heated system, you may have to have two circuits just for that and then two circuits for this. So for example, in this, in this uh, area, if that was heated and jetted, and then this also had its 240 volt heated, that's four circuits. Um, as far as arc fault protection, uh, as of 2017, they don't have to have them yet in the bathroom, or 2014, but 2017 they might. But um, yeah, you, you would probably have to GFI arc fault that down at the panel then for your jetted heated tub and then the floor, it comes with its own GFCI. Um, the other thing is right here, uh, if you had a steam shower, those are typically 40 amp and you would need uh, literally a sub panel up here for like that for about 60 amps to do all this. Um, anyways guys, thanks. Hopefully that helped you out this week. Bye.